Hi everybody, I'm so excited to be revealing today the one thing that wealthy people do. See, wealthy people aren't necessarily harder working necessarily, they're not more intelligent, smarter, better looking, but I'll tell you one thing that they do is they manage their money. What do I mean by that? If I asked you right now how many bank accounts you have, you might say one, two, three, but you need a lot more than that if you really want to manage your money. And I tell you, this system will liberate you. It will actually allow you to spend money on a monthly basis that you never thought you had. Invest money on a monthly basis that you never thought you had, which is really, really insane. But just watch this. It's a very simple concept, but no one knows about it, right? And I got this from my personal mentor, the great T. Harvecker. Absolutely fantastic. Watch this. When you have your money coming in, right, from your employer, your business, etc., the idea is that you have this bank account, okay? Be an online bank account. I use First Direct. That's what I use. Um, and you 100% of that money comes into the bank account, either from your business or your employer, okay? Most people just have one bank account. So the challenge with this is that if somebody says to you, hey, I'd love to go out, and you go, I'd love to go out as well, right? Then you take it from your bank account, which is here, all right? So you take it out, now it's at 90%. Somebody else says, hey, you know, I wanna go out, et cetera, now it's at 80%. Well, at the end of the month, you've got a mortgage to pay, you've got bills to pay, and you may not have enough money left because you've spent it on certain things, right? So each one of these accounts has a specific role. You can't have one account having every single role. You're not managing your money. Now we're going to manage our money. Watch this. And by the way, you can set this up so it comes out automatically. So automatically, at the beginning of the month, you can tell your bank to have a certain amount go into each of these accounts. Now this account, the first account, I guess, I mean, you can call it your, I don't know, your daily expenses, your necessities account, right? Daily expenses. And we are going to put, let's say, mm, anywhere between 50 and 60%, depending on how much you earn and what your expenses are. So you'll have to calculate this, but let's say 55%. This is the biggest account by far, right? 55%. The kind of things that we do is um, spend it on your mortgage, um, your shopping, um, the, uh, the petrol, any maintenance of the car, the haircuts, the food, you know, the coffee if you really need it. You know, you know things that you really, really, really need. The gym, you gotta, you gotta be fit, right, gym? Or your things that are necessary for you. So this is kind of daily spending and things are going in and out and in and out all the time, okay? So that's 55%. Some of you might say, oh, I don't know, mine's going to be more, mine's going to be less. But when you see the other accounts, you will see, oh, actually, some of this should be going in there. Why am I spending it? Because at the moment, you're all spending it from the same account, or some of you are. Okay? Let's have a look at another one, because there's some left, isn't there? The next one here, no particular order, by the way, has got to be, how am I going to call this? Like, this is like growing your money, right? So I'm going to call this your investment account. Now, I know some of you don't necessarily invest because you've never had the money because there's too much going on here. You know, you never have enough money at the end of the month. But now you will because now you are managing your money. And what you're going to do is you're going to put 10% of everything that you earn. Minimum. Should be more, but start off with 10% of everything you earn. I'm not saying this is going to be simple. Well, it is very simple. Just do it, right? Easy at the beginning. But trust me, when you do this, your life changes. Now you have enough money to invest, right? 10%. The kind of things that you use this for is investing in stocks or shares or cryptos or gold or even your businesses or even um, anything that will make you more money. It's your investments, right? It could be in a startup, for example, in something that gives you residual income or even passive income. Anything to grow your money. This is not money in the bank, okay? Because that's not an investment. That is just staying there to do, you know, to go into here. This is all in the bank right now. This is to grow your money, okay? So that's 10%. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, what else do we have? What else do we have? Well, you also need to, and this is very important, one thing that you need to do in order to learn how to invest, you need to do personal development or growth. You can call this, by the way, it's up to you what you call it, right? I'm going to call this G for growth, but you can call it PD, personal development, or personal growth, PG, if you want. And we are going to put a minimum of 10% of everything that you earn, every single month we're going to put in here. Do you think most people do that? No way! They have it in here and they're spending it on all kinds of things and wondering where their money is going. Right? Especially if you go to an, an ATM machine and you take out 50 pounds or 100 pounds and you, know, you get, get some croissant, you go to Starbucks, you do and the money's got, you have no idea where it goes. And that's because most people don't manage their money. Make sense? But now what we're going to do is we're going to put 10% into your growth. So you're going to go into workshops and seminars and home study courses and books and you do this in the lunchtime, right? When you have an hour or half an hour, use it, use it, use it. Don't waste it, use it. So yeah, but that's my time off. Well, learn something that you enjoy, like a hobby which will make you money, whatever that might be. For me, it was always trading and investing, but that's just me. For you, it doesn't have to be. And before you think, oh yeah, you're trading and investing, it's just like, hold on, at uni, I was the guy with the long hair and the beard, and I didn't work until the age of 29. So believe me, trading and investing, growing my money is not something that came natural to me. I had to grow into it. I had to learn how to do it. Okay, now you're gonna love this one, I'm sure, because everybody loves this account, because how many of you love to have 
fun, right? This is your fun account. This is the account that you're going to spend every single month. You have to. You're going to put 10% and you have to spend that money. Now, some of you are saying, what's the problem? I can spend a lot more than that, Marcus. It's not a problem, right? You're the spenders. No problem. I'm not like that. I'm a saver. So for me, I find it challenging to spend that. In fact, I can't spend that. I have to force myself to spend that. Literally, I have to go into shop. I've done this plenty of times, like at airports. Go on in and say, this is your lucky day. You, I, I've, got, like, I've got literally a day left. You have to help me spend a thousand pounds right now. Because tomorrow I don't have time. So you're gonna, and they're like, oh, come with me. You know, I'm buying all this stuff. And <laughs> didn't really want half of it. But anyway, um, so I guess I should have learned to spend it earlier, right? That's managing my money as well. So this fun account is 10%. Goes in there. Now. I'm going to come back again and explain why this is so important. Because if you didn't have these, and you had it here, right? And somebody said, do you want to go out? And you go out. Do you want to go out? Oh, yes, what is it, a birthday? Oh, I need to buy a present, right? So it all starts, da, 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 And then when you're there, you have fun, da, 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 And then you spend a lot more. And then at the end of the month, you don't have enough money. Now, watch this. When you have 10% here, and somebody says, hey, you want to go out, have fun, right? You go, well, hold on a moment. I do, but you look at your bank account. It's all online, OK? And you notice that you have money in there. Right? You go, yeah, I want to go, I don't want to go. Great. So you do it again, right? You have fun. Then somebody else says it. And you say, oh, I need to buy a present. Now, this is going down and down and down and down. The third time somebody says something to you, as an example, it could be the fifth time. Let's say it's the 16th of the month. And somebody says to you, hey, do you want to go out? You go, yes, I do. Hold on just a moment. Uh-oh. And then the answer is no, because you have no more money in your fun account. Is this making sense? Now, watch this. If that would have been here, you would have carried on going out, carried on going out, carried on going out, and you would have eaten into your investment account, you would have eaten into your growth account because they didn't exist. And then you will never have enough money to invest, you will never have enough money to grow, and therefore you stay not very wealthy. Does that make sense? Whereas here, we're setting you up to win. The other system isn't a system, this is a system. Do you see the difference? So, by the way, what do you spend this on? The best that life has to offer, my friends. So, for example, have you ever been to a restaurant? You go, I can't believe it. Actually, I did this the other day. I went, I went to this restaurant and I said, this is ridiculous. I mean, it's not. But you know what? It's the experience. It's to grow and nurture your inner child. So you have fun and you do stuff and you, you, you go to a hotel and you spend a thousand pounds or whatever it is, right? Whatever it is to experience the best that life has to offer because you have to have fun. Now, I know for a fact that some of you are watching this and you're saying, ah, I've already found a way out of this system. I know, right? You said, well, hold on. If I just have less fun, I can put this money into my investment account. Then this is 20% and I'll be rich faster. Logically, makes sense, yes? No, don't do that. Because if you don't nurture your inner child, if you don't have enough fun, then you're working, 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 and it will trip you up. You will self-sabotage. Because as you haven't looked after me, now I'm not going to look after you. It'll make you late for a meeting. And you don't want to be late in a meeting, especially if it's an important one, right? It'll detour you. It'll, it'll, you know, during a meeting, you'll, you'll, you'll do something you know, in order for you not to get the result because you have not balanced. I've just used the word balance. Can you see what this is all about? This is about balancing your life. You're going to grow. You're going to invest. You're going to have fun. Can you see the balance? Whereas before, I don't know, do you have balance in your life if you just do this? So this is a very important account. And this needs to be empty every single month. Right? This one, not necessarily. This one, not this. You're not just going to invest in something just because, you know, oh, I need to invest. I'm going to put it in there. No, but it wasn't time to invest. It was the wrong time. Why did you? This one. But this one, obviously, this one's going on a daily basis. You're spending. This one here at the end of the month should be empty should be empty, okay? I'm not saying it's easy, right? As a spender, I find that very, very difficult. But you'll get more out of your life if you do that. Now, there's only two more left. This one here, make sure that you do give back. Okay, so this one here is your charity account. This is giving, right? We are in, we are so fortunate to be living where we're living at this time. I mean, I can't even imagine what it would have been like, you know, hundreds and 200 years ago, either in this country or another country. So to give back, and look, you can make it you know, 5%. You can make it more. This is basically tithing. And um, the reason that, that I put 5% is because, by the way, this could be zero. You could have a business, and your business might be paying. Like if you're self-employed, maybe the business can give. So it's the same as you giving because it's your, you know, your business. But minimum of 5%. Minimum of 5%. And the other thing that you can do, by the way, is you can give your time, which is, in my opinion, much more valuable because you can fob somebody off with money Right? Is that really giving? You know, when there's somebody in the street, they go, give us a quid, and you go, Ugh, you know, or, or, or you're like, yeah, don't touch me. That's not really giving. But if you stop and talk to people, that actually is more valuable than money. Okay, that's why it's only 5%, because see if you can give some time as well. 
Now, so we've got 55, 65, 75, 85, 90. So we've got one more, okay? And one more, I'll tell you what I've got. I've got several accounts. So I have got one for taxes, right? Taxes. Need to make sure that, you know, I have enough money to pay taxes, right? So I need to make sure that every month something's going in there. Um, I also have uh, one for child number one, right? Child number one. Why? For later. For, and by the way, I wrap it up in a JISA, a junior ISA. I also have a SIP, a self-invested personal pension, which I started when they were three months old. I've got two of them, so that's child one, child two, right? Melania <laughs> and Sienna. Um, and, it, and it's done extremely well. I mean, end of last year, I mean, Sienna had something like 652,000 in her, in her pension, which she can't access, by the way. Um, so have a look at this. So this, this, this. What else could there be? Uh, t holidays, might be a holiday, right? Holidays. So we know how much money to spend, because otherwise you're on holiday and you're feeling good and it's round of drinks for everybody on the ATM machine, let's go on this excursion. And suddenly, you know, you come back, wow. So we know how much we have to spend. Can you see? We're managing our money. Some people think this is boring. It's not. It actually, instead of constraining you, you said, but this is very constraining, it actually frees you. Because you have money to have fun, you have money to go, you have money to invest, you have money to go on holiday, you have all these things. It actually frees you. Now all of this, you could put into one pot. Right, and this is the, and this this will be ten percent, let's say. Ten percent. Now, this might be more. This might be a separate one because if you have a lot of tax to pay, because normally the tax gets taken, doesn't it? Normally gets taken by the uh, before the employer takes it, gets taken at source, and boom, it comes in here. But maybe you have businesses and whatever, so we always make sure that we do uh, save on some tax there as well. So that will be another ten percent, and this is savings. This is your savings. So I'm saving for um, Melania and Madrika's. Uh, school later on, uh, it'll be uh, university, or maybe they want to have a down payment for a house, whatever. They are going to pay for it themselves. I'm not going to pay for it because I've done it since they were three months old. So there's years and years and years in there, right? So that's brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Remember, the, the ISAs, you know, the wrapping every single year, all of that stuff, the self-invested personal pension every year around March time. So that comes from here, you know? Um, okay, so that's basically, you've got 100% here. I mean, you could say this is saving, but really it's saving for spending. It's, you, you are going to spend this. Right, you're not just saving, saving, saving. There's no point just saving, saving, saving. What's the point? You need to learn how to invest. That's, you need to grow the money. Don't just like save, 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 save. Um, so that's that. Now, again, this happens automatically. I'm going to write automatically here, right? Automatically, once a month, this goes, you can set this up with your online bank, which is amazing. And I'll tell you why it's so amazing. Because you don't miss the money. So for example, before, you just had this one account here, and everything came from this account, right? But when it gets taken out, you don't have it here. You won't miss it. You'll see how much is in there. go, oh, I can't spend anymore, and you'll stop spending. The same with here. Yeah? So that's why this is so incredibly important for you to do. One thing I will mention, if you really want to go for it, you will actually have a debit card or credit card for each one of these, for each one of them. Because think about it. Let's say that you wanted to have some fun. Well, you don't want to spend, you don't, you, you don't want to take it out from here. What you want to do is you want to have a credit or debit card just for this account. So if you don't want to have a debit or credit card, that's pretty hardcore, right? You're like, oh, your credit card, you go, oh, it's this one here, and it's this one here. Then at the end of the month, in order to manage your money, that's all you're doing. It's, it's, a, it's like a muscle that once you have it, you will love it so much. You go to your credit card, right? Your credit card statement, statement, boom, your statement, right? And you look it up. And you, and you know, each line and money and et cetera. And you will notice that you might have you say, well, this one here, this was, this was a pair of shoes. Okay. Did I need that shoe for work? No. So it's not out of my kind of like everyday daily necessities. Um, it was to have fun. Okay, great. So that one's fun. Um, this one here, oh, it was an investment. Okay, great. So that's an I. Oh, this one here was a course I went on, amazing course, right? So that's growth. Oh, this was going out with friends. So that's fun. Da, da, da. And what you're going to do is the idea here is to start realizing that this one here and this one here was actually from your fun account. Can you see that? So the credit card statement comes through, okay, but you may maybe haven't paid it yet. And so what you would do then, you would say, great, so what I need to do now, obviously, since I put it on this one card, which is supposed to come out of my main account, right, let me remind you, let's say if you only have one credit card and that will be from your main account, probably this one here, right, what you will probably do is say, right, you add the total amount that you spent on for the fund and you transfer it back here and then transfer it out and pay your credit card company. You do the same with all of these. Okay, so if you did a lot of investments, you add them up, add up, add up, pay whatever it was, you transfer the money that's in here to here, and then you pay the credit card from there. Okay, so you just go one, two, three, four, five, six, 
takes minutes. It doesn't take long at all, at all. It's just a number, duh, 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 verify, dunk, and it goes into account, duh, duh, dunk, goes into account, and then you pay off the credit card, okay? Now what you're doing is doing what hardly anybody does, and that is managing your money. I have had people come up to you and say, Marcus, this is the most amazing system. They said, I had never had any investments, now I invest. I said, oh, because it was out of context. I didn't understand what they were saying. I was just happy for them, right? I didn't know they were talking about this. They, they just said, I said, oh, did you, get, you know, did you get a raise at work or did you get a new job? And they said, no, 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 it's the system, the system. Oh, I see. So, uh, for example, a teacher came up to me and said, oh, you know, I never used to give to charity. I do that now and I invest and it's absolutely amazing. And da, 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 da. Same amount of money. Didn't, didn't get any more money. Didn't get a pay rise, didn't start a new job or anything. Just managing the money. Because like I say, when it comes out of the account, you don't actually miss it. If it's in there, you spend it. And that, my friends, I believe is one of the secrets to becoming wealthy over time. I hope you enjoyed this, but more importantly, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Do not waste another second. I still do it to this day. It will transform your finances.